Hello everybody, Washud here, and welcome to Lie Eat, the Lie Eating Dragon and the Azure Dreamer. This is the second part of Lie Eat. There is the first part, which I did, which will probably be an annotation somewhere on the screen if you would like to go watch it first. It has been highly recommended that you watch it or play the game before playing this one, so let's go. The last one was about a vampire. Once upon a time, there was a fluffy white sheep. The sheep fed on nightmares. So it lived off of the nightmares of the humans around it. But one day the sheep grew tired of the taste of nightmares. Just then it saw a girl having a wonderful happy dream. The sheep secretly ate her happy dream. It was delighted by the taste. But the girl whose dream was stolen became little more than an empty shell. The end. What the frickity frack. That's a screwed ass dream. What was I born for? What can I eat people's dreams? Is this okay? Is it okay to just eat them? I better go to bed. I wonder what a dream tastes like. Never something I've considered before. Hats, a little big on me. Well, shouldn't matter. Hey, can you really just take those? That guy was just sleeping. Sure I can. I mean, I left him my clothes, didn't I? And I blew near all of our money on your new clothes. Well, okay, but those clothes, didn't they get really stinky when you fell in that horse stuff last town? Can't complain when it's on the house. Hmm? Oh, a badge. What's that? Oh, is that late? These are what guards wear. You telling me that dumb-looking doofus was a guard? A guard for a pleasure resort. Harad. Close, but no cigar. It says Harold. So Harold will be my name here. Hola. Hala. Hal works. That's probably easier for you to remember. Gotcha. Oh my. Wonder if they'll recognize me by face. I did try to mimic his hair. If we're lucky, we might even get to stay the night in this resort. But any hitches, and we're making our getaway. Got it? What kind of place is it? It's got fun and games. Fun? Games? Hooray! Don't get too wild now. Oh my. Ah! Uh -huh. Yeah! Alrighty. Well. Hello. Hello. You don't have anything to say? Welcome to Azure Town. This is our prize resort, but only authorized personnel are allowed inside currently. So who are you? Name yourself. Yes, number 3055, Harold Radford, reporting for duty. Number 3055, Harold Radford? This must be the new guard that was to start today, brother. Aha. Uh -huh. Harold, how old are you? 18, sir. I see. If I might say, your eyes seem so mature for a man of your age. Good eyes. Eyes that have stared down death and made it out alive. But still no alcohol. That'll get you fired on the spot. Hmm? And who's that child? Effie. This is my little sister, Athena. Ah, don't look anything alike, though. We don't look alike either, so we shouldn't speak ill of these siblings now, should we? In what way do we not look alike? Do you not look alike? Is it alright if I ask you something? Certainly. Would it be possible for us to lodge a while at the resort? Hmm, perhaps it's best you ask the manager. Have you some need? Actually, we're looking for our mother. Our dad's already passed away, so we left home without hesitation, and now we're traveling to find mom. But we need money for that, so I just have to keep taking brief jobs like these. I see. It would be perhaps too costly to go to an inn, in both time and money terms. What a thoughtful youth. Personally, yes, I would gladly accept. I firmly believe that the manager will allow it as well. Thank you so much. If anything should come up, feel free to count on us. I am the older brother, Thom. I am the younger brother, Mars. Okay, thank you again. May happiness come to you. Well. Is there like a key somewhere or are those doors just unlocked? Oh, the doors are just unlocked. Don't worry about it. You're 18, Papa? No, that's drinking age. Found the guy's age along with his badge. Oh, and those dogs could talk. That's so cool. 
They're not dogs, they're humans. People used to have all kinds of categories and races depending on how you looked. But now we just call everybody humans. So what's different between those guys and dogs? People walk around on two legs and talk. Anything else is an animal. About the only creatures that look human, but aren't called it these days, are dragons. What's different between dragons and humans? I guess that dragons can use magic and people can't. People can't eat lies or be immortal or pass through walls and floors. And a human's head doesn't spit fire when they're half asleep. Let's look for the manager. Forgot to ask what they even looked like, huh? Well, we could go back and ask now. I'm Mars. Oh, well, you, well, here we are. Why don't you ask? That's no fun. Let's explore. Okay, those were the same overpowered from last game. I got him that fast? Ooh. Okay, well, you you just saw it happen. You saw it happen. There we go. It's over. Forget it. There's something in the other planter? What the? There's lots of books. The newspaper here has a big headline. Phantom Thief Strikes Again. Uh, up. I don't really see anybody in there. What's this? It's broken. It's broken, therefore not useful. I feel like the manager should be on the first floor. Just a mi opinion. A giant cross, huh? Okay, well, we found the pews. But no manager. These all doors? Oh my god. Hello, manager. Oh, I'm wondering if I could give you something of equivalent value to be able to stay here. Perhaps a small child. A trained dragon, quite the sport. Or maybe I could trade you some cookies. Because I have cookies, right? Oh, small candy. One small candy for a night's day. Ooh. Expensive looking alcohol. Well, we don't want to get fired. Evidently, being a garden drinking is a response for a termination on the spot. Oh, do we have customers? This isn't the place for games. Whoa, look at the size of those. She must be talking about the boobs. Pardon me, I'm Harold, and I'll be working here as a guard for a little while. I was looking for someone, the manager. But you see, since I'm new, I'm not even sure what kind of person I'm looking for. Oh, is that right? The manager is a woman with bandages around her face. I think you'll know her right away once you see her. I see, thank you very much. I heard this new guard was a younger kid, but you look pretty mature. It's an honor to hear you say so, miss. Ah! She went out a bit ago, so she might be not be back for a while. She's never gone long, so perhaps you bump into her if you just walk around. I must mention, we do have a lot of strange guests, but good luck with the job. Thank you. All right, well, I just sort of explored half the hall, so I mean... A wooden rocking horse. All right, to play with it, come on. Oh, I wanted to play. Well then... I guess we're just supposed to walk around until we find whatever we are looking for. Anybody? Nope. Harry, tried that way. Ooh. Oh, I can't go that way. Oh, uh, there's a little tiny closet looking thing. Can I walk this way again? Well, fuck it, poop. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Bandages on her face. Maybe she recently had plastic surgery. Getting a nosy. <gasps> oh. Eh, visitors? Still getting ready there. Sorry to interrupt, I'm Harold. I'll be working here as a guard briefly. Harold. Oh, right, gotcha. I heard about ya. If you want the manager, she should be back soon. What's this manager like? The manager looks real sour, but she's got a good ass and dim legs. Whoa, another one. Didn't you see there, shorty? And I'm sure surprised to see you've got a kid. You know I wasn't Harold from the beginning, didn't you? Yeah, cause I'm a friend of his. Of course, he's a loser and an awful drunk, so truth is, I hate his guts. Yeah, never really a good combination. Don't worry, I won't tell nobody. Heck, I'm thankful you're here instead of that jerk. But maybe it'll be trouble, I know. I'll make a prank call. You're just like Hal. Say what, run? He is that guy like me. Oh, you are. 
Hey, patched up guy, list your three favorite things. Oh, well, the name's Lucas, and I guess I like beer, money, and women. <laughs> See, the same! No way, this guy's a womanizer. Me, I'm what you call a gentleman. Got that backwards, bud. You're picking a fight. They're exactly alike, but maybe that doesn't mean they can't get along. Hey, Mr. Lucas, what else do you like? Oh, well. Given the job, I do. I like seeing people be happy in fun-filled places like this. What the heck is that? You lied. Get on it, runt. Enough with the runt stuff. Call me Effie. It's my name. It only has 80 health. Get dunked. Goodbye. So, this girl can make lies manifest and eat them. You told a lie, so it appeared as a monster. Uh, so you actually hate seeing people happy? Hmm, I see. Not so much hate, I just don't care. I gotta admit, people's sorrows seem a bit more on the interesting side to me. What a weirdo. Hey, look who's talking. I'd say the same of you. Would other people's misfortune actually make equal happy things happen to me? Sounds like a pretty lousy way of thinking. Hate it. Boy, you're weird. But when Hal gets sad, it makes me sad too. Seriously, then you're a weirdo too. Ah, so we're all weirdos here. Hooray! So is the tiny one a dragon or something? Correct. Yeah, well, we've got a one of our own. A dragon, you mean? Well, it's a kid the manager picked up somewhere a couple months ago. He eats dreams or something, and only dragons can do that magical stuff, right? Of course, never seen it myself, and the manager says he's a human, not a dragon. A dream-eating dragon. The cops never got on their case for hauling a dragon around. Hey, not like we're doing anything wrong. I only take her along because she's unruly and she does weird stuff. Hmm, gotcha. Oh, dang, I gotta clean up before I get in trouble again. All right, beat it, guys. Manager's gotta be back soon. Yeah, good luck. I don't need a guy like you cheering me on. Well, there is one thing I like about that guy. He was being a dick, and he was just being openly a dick. He's like, just piss off, man. I got stuff to do. Go away. So that, like... Oh, I'm busy. Oh, I better get back to work now. Type of deal. Maybe that intel that there was a dragon in town was right. Finding info this time? Yep, info on dragons sells well. Plus, we might even learn a thing or two about you. Really? Really? What's got you so happy? Wonder if the manager's back. Let's look around some more. Oh, that's not a door. My bad. Ain't not gonna go. He's a prey inside. Oh! Um. Oh my god. You do kind of have some interesting bandages, don't you? What do you suppose I'm about to transform into? Penguin! A penguin! I see indeed. A guess as good as any. You'll see that there's nothing up my sleeve. Three. Two. What, are you really gonna turn into a penguin? I wanna be one too! One. Um, the answer was a sheep. Where'd that woman? She vanished instantly! How? I was watching! Well? What the? So, are you a customer? No, surely not. To be inside at this time, you're a trespasser. Ow! What, man? What? A little girl? Oh, Thom and Mars told me about you, so you're the little sister of the new guard. Okay. Beg for your life. Ah, no. I meant to say, I've been most impolite. Apologies. I used to be an executioner. I still have some habits. And you struck me as exceptionally shady, so are you hurt? No, it's fine. It's really my fault for making such an abrupt request. You mean lodging here? Oh, not at all. There are guest rooms on the second floor, which you may use. We have spare rooms, so yes, you can certainly use the far room on the west side. Your main duties as guard are to may patrol the interior and prevent trouble between guests, but there are occasionally some rowdy, hot-blooded ones. Report those to me, please. Uh, so you can transform them? No, so that I can bring the whip upon them. Ooh, I'm really in your debt. Oh, I should introduce myself. I am Sophia Joanelle, and to my right is... I'm William. You can call me Will. Will? Are you a dragon? No, no, I have horns, yes, 
but they're sheep horns. Oh, so they're different. Well, I have another. Pr well, I have other preparations to make. So if you'll excuse me, bye bye. Uh, goodbye. Hey, Ron. If you straight up ask someone if they're a dragon, they won't just say yes. Why not? I keep telling you, dragons are rare creatures. Since they're rare, bad guys target them. That's why usually they hide it, you know? The police guys can be more open about it because they're strong enough to protect themselves. Hmm. But you never really stop me from telling people I'm a dragon, Hal. I don't like this conversation. Let's find our room and rest. Hey, for real, tell me. Alrighty, well, let's go find our room. I'm sure it's gotta be somewhere around here. I'm uh, pretty sure it never eats soggy wheat. It was this way. All the way to the end. And... Skadoosh. I've got work to do tonight, so I'm gonna rest some. If you don't bother anybody, you can wander around and have some fun. You're gonna work? Because I came here as the Guard Herald C. I'm no pro at impersonation, but it's not hard if it's my first time meeting these guys. Don't tuckle yourself out. You mean physically or in terms of lying? Uh, both! Right, gotcha. If you leave the resort, don't head into town. Place is huge as hell. Oh, and here's your snack. Eat it when you get hungry. Yay! Oh my goodly giddly. Soda candy? Nice and fizzy. Recovers 30 HP. Oh, just like the tea cookies from last game. Well, last time I played it all in one go and it was one giant episode, so this time I'm gonna take breaks. I think that that will be easier to watch. So, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, why not consider leaving a like, a comment, a recommendation for the game, or subscribing and joining the party today. I would like that, and I think that you would like that too. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.